Mr. Mayor. Hi, Mr. Hey. So, so what morning. was your message to the White House, and what did you did you hear what you hey, wanted to hear? Sir, can we have you stand on this side just to the side? Oh, that, I appreciate yeah. you looking out for me. The mayor's going to make a couple of remarks, and then okay. you know your question. Go ahead, Mayor. Thank you. All right, cool. Well, today I had the opportunity to meet with um, the Chief of Staff and the President of the United States, as well as his senior advisor, um, about the significant challenge that we are experiencing experiencing in the city of Chicago and cities across this country around um, those who are seeking asylum um, here in this country. And, you know, in order for us to, um, to meet this moment, we're going to need significant investment from the federal government. And I've made our ask very clear um, that the, the supplemental um, the moment that we're in, the opportunity to fund critical services throughout the entire country, providing support for bordering cities as well as cities like Chicago and New York and Denver, um, you know, $5 billion is not an unreasonable demand, uh, particularly at a moment when there's uh, such a tremendous need. And so, you know, today was just really reinforcing uh, what all of us are experiencing around the country, whether it's in Denver, Chicago, and, or New York, or Los Angeles, or El Paso, or, or, or Brownsville, um, that these challenges are significant, and we're going to need a significant investment from the federal government. Did Mr. you hear Mayor. what you wanted to hear then? What was well, the response? Well, what, what we heard was is that, um, that the president certainly understands that this 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 crisis um, is a moment that we have to be responsive to um, that um, I did hear that there is a commitment uh, to help support and operationalize um, our, our, our system here of care um, however you know I'm going to continue to push to make sure that those investments that are made um, are investments that are made in our education system um, you know we have significant violence um, around this country, um, particularly around mass shootings. And so, you know, we brought up the need to make sure that these investments are addressing um, all of the crises that um, people are experiencing across this country. Mr. But, Mr. Mayor, wait, but doesn't that support bring more people here then across the border illegally? Well, you know, remember that these are individuals who are seeking asylum, so they are protected by international law, right? So there, there's a dynamic there that I believe that we have to continue um, to understand. And this is why I've said repeatedly, that foreign and, and foreign policy and policy that it impacts the globe, um, you know, has to be uh, far more thoughtful. Um, I've said repeatedly that sanctions placed on um, places like, you know, Central and South America are exacerbating um, the crises. And so I'm grateful that President Biden um, has eased um, some of those sanctions. You know, really, this is about investing in the, uh, the people uh, across this country. Look, the, the, the needs that exist in San Antonio particularly around education and housing, um, are the needs that exist in places like Chicago. Like education and supporting our neighborhoods that have been riddled with violence, right? So um, as much as we need a, a real operational approach as well as uh, Congress uh, to come up with sensible policy, we need investments that will help our cities thrive. And being here with uh, Mayor Mike Johnston from, from, um, from Denver has certainly been supportive. and. You know, Mayor Eric Adams has had to deal with this challenge um, for, for some time. And so investments that are being asked and pushed for in this moment uh, are really about making sure that we're not forgetting the needs of the people um, who have been here, while also making sure that we're providing a system of care for those who are seeking asylum here in the country. Do, do you get any indication of a timeline of when the White House, the administration, might be able to provide any help to cities like Chicago at this point in time. You know, it's heading into the winter months. Yeah. I know that housing is a challenge right now. Can you talk to me about that? Yeah, look, there is a, a there's a short window here. As I said, speaking with the chief, um, with President Biden's chief of staff, as well as his senior, his senior advisor, um, within the next couple of weeks, we have to get something done. And so, you know, we're going to continue to do our part to push our allies uh, not just in the state of Illinois, but around the country, uh, along with uh, Mayor Johnston is, is with me today as well, uh, Mayor Johnston. And uh, we're going to continue to, to work together to, to challenge our allies on both sides of the aisle, Democrats and Republicans, um, to, to put forth these investments um, with, with expediency. And so, you know, the, the short window that we have right here um, is why there's such an urgency on, on, on my part as well as Mayor Johnston's part. Mayor Johnson, um, Ted Hessen with Reuters. Thank you for coming out here today. You're welcome. Yes. I, I wanted to ask you, uh, we've seen videos of people sleeping in tents on the streets of Chicago, and um, you all have seen this coming for some time, right? You've known that the temperatures are going to get cold, and is there a reason that there isn't some sort of temporary shelter set up in Chicago yet where you can house people? There are temporary shelters that we've set up. In fact, since I've been mayor, I've been mayor for five months, 
I've set up a new shelter every single week. Uh, we've received 150 buses just in this last month. And um, you know, we continue to work to make sure that there are dignified places in which individuals who are seeking asylum can actually lay their heads. Um, but again, this is why it's gonna require the full force of government at every single level to, to intervene here. Now look, 150 buses alone have showed up since the month, in the month of October. Since I've been in office, we've had over 350 buses just show up in this short period of time. And so as we continue to stand up uh, more shelters, um, we're going to need the federal government to lean in to help provide the support for the people who are seeking asylum here. Can you tell us if you're going to actually use the Shuttered Museum, the uh, broadcast communications in your city, to house some asylum seekers? Well, we're looking at a variety of sites, you know, and my administration has been assessing sites across the city since I've been in office. Now, look, this is an international dynamic that we're dealing with, and it really requires, it really requires um, a federal response. You know, one of the things that I've mentioned to um, to the senior advisor and chief of staff that 30,000 um, refugees from Ukraine are in Chicago, and and most people don't even know that they're there, that they're there because there were federal dollars that were attached um, to their arrival. Um, so we have to ask ourselves what's different about those who were you know seeking uh, refuge in this country from the Ukraine versus those individuals who are seeking asylum from Venezuela. Um, what we have to keep in mind in this moment is that that the the failures of 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 systems of oppression for decades now um, have have helped caused and create the type of political tension that that unfortunately exists today but as you can see you see a full display of of cooperation between cities like Denver Chicago Los Angeles New York um, we're all very much committed to use our space in this moment to meet the needs of of all of our residents and so you know mayor johnston is is enrolling students um, in his public education system i'm enrolling students in our, in our public education system we're all working to solve this crisis but we're going to need the federal government and i said it very clear um, that the five billion dollar ask is is really about um, the, the bordering cities in Texas, just like they're in cities like 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 New York, Chicago, and Denver. So, Mayor Johnson, I wanted to ask you, you know, quickly. Uh, yeah. what, do you think this money, this extra money that, that you're, you guys are hoping for and getting, will it just bring more people though across the border, southern border, illegally into your cities? Yeah, we've not seen that. I think first of all, we did say we're grateful for a couple of key points of progress. One is, yeah, this funding package is going to be critical at the 1.4 billion. There's still more need that Mayor Johnson described. Also, really grateful for the push on work authorization. Things like Venezuelans pre 731, who get access to work authorization. I mean, the the crisis we have in our city is we'll have people who arrive every day who I'll sit down with newcomers, and the first thing they'll ask me is how can I get a job? All I want is, is, is a place to work. And at the same time, we have employers who will call me every day and say, hey, I have 200 open jobs in my company. Can I please hire those individuals? What we want is the federal government to step out of the way of employers who want to hire individuals who are trying to get access to work and help get them access to work as expediently as possible. We also know that there are resource needs for us to manage and absorb and support people. Uh, but we think they're coming here looking for the chance to be able to work hard and support their families. If we can get them work authorization, that helps them. But some of those people skip the line, basically. Um, coming across the border illegally. I mean, doesn't this just encourage that? Yeah, we believe, you know, the Congress and the President are going to decide what they want the entrance policies to be. Our belief is that whatever entrance policy they decide on, that entrance policy should come with the ability to work when you arrive. The last thing we want is for folks to have come 2,000 miles and fought as hard as they can to get here and then arrive in the U.S. and us tell you, please, 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 whatever you do, don't work. Uh, what we want you to do is, is to work. They do want to work. But we also have to have the financial supports to be able to make sure we can successfully integrate them. And as the mayor said, when we brought Afghanistan refugees to the United States, we were very successful in partnering with cities, collaborating, making sure they found a place to succeed. Same with the Ukrainians who have arrived. We know there's a way for the country to do this in a collaborative, coordinated way, and we want to be a part of the solution. Did you, you hear what you needed to hear? Uh, I mean, for us, it's the start of a conversation. We know that they're taking key steps to try to support us. We're going to try to make sure that we can better align our systems to get those folks that have arrived and have work authorization to work. So we view this as a partnership. We want to be good partners to everybody here, and we want them to be good partners to us down at the, on the front lines in the cities, and we think this is a good start. Are you all planning to meet with lawmakers as well? Some of the things you've mentioned seem like things Congress would handle and not the president. And uh, as we know, in the last few weeks, the House of Representatives has spent time in disarray, and 
without leadership. So yeah. I wonder if you put some of the blame there and think they should be taking action. Yeah, we are, we are delighted to have a conversation with the White House. We're also meeting with leaders from the House and the Senate today as well to talk to kind of all three parts of this puzzle to say we think there's a lot to be done on the legislative side and we want to make sure they're both supportive of the of the resources the president has laid out now and what we know is going to be more resources that will be required we're going on our forward. way there right now too yeah. thank you all very much yes. thank you great to see you all